Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Hollywood Interviews. And tonight we have Neek or Nika Kimbro. She's a credit consultant, a single mom of five, um, a multi-business owner, and we'll give her the floor to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Neek Kimbro, uh, born and raised in Mahia. Um five children, and I'm a credit consultant. I've been in the business for about a year now. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I hear you. Okay, so you are a credit consultant, correct? Yes, correct. All right, so I guess can you can you explain what a credit consultant is? Yes, it's a person that um, helps maintain and builds credit score. Um, and helps you maintain a credit score. And, um, you know, so you can be able to get purchases uh for his houses and stuff like that okay cool so why i guess why does someone potentially need a credit consultant um they um uh, they need a credit consultant so they can be able to you know just live a decent lifestyle um to you know they may want to buy a home house car you know, things like that in that nature. Okay. So you work for, um, I guess, an, you work with an agency called FES. Uh, yes. Can you explain what FES is? FES is a uh, financial education services. Okay. And when did you start learning about credit? I started learning about credit about um, a few years ago. But I actually got into the business a year ago. Well, what made you what made you interested in uh, FES? I was interested in FES. Um, one day I was just on on uh, Facebook and I seen an ad. And um, when I commented, like I I promote, I commented me and um, my mentor. She reached out to me. And um, I got on with her, and uh, she explained the business and how it went. So at first, I was just going to, you know, start trying to get my credit fixed. And then um, I talked to her again, and she kind of introduced me to the business, and then I've just been doing it ever since. Okay, so you, you're, so you basically you've been through the program yourself. Yes. So I not only am I a credit consultant, I, I, I actually utilize the business in the services as well. So I guess you can spark, you can speak firsthand to, I guess, the success then of the company or, or what, it's, what it's actually done for you. Yes. Okay. So I guess, can you give us a little bit of background on that? Yes. Um, far as what do you, which part would you want to know? So like what, what, um, what benefit did you receive that made you say, hey, you know, I want to get started with them and that this is actually a good company? Well, like I said, I started off um, just wanting to be a, a client. And then once I got into the business and I started seeing my credit score, uh, my credit score update, you know, keep going up, then that's when I um, started joining the business and then I just when I got my personal results, that's how I was like, okay, this service is actually work. Because I went into it just like everybody else, really didn't care about credit, really didn't, you know, um skeptical. But then mm -hmm. once I um started knowing and trying to learn the importance of credit, then I really got involved and really just, you know, said, you know what, this is I have to do this. So therefore, um, like I said, I got into the business and then um, once I got my first round of dispute letters and then I got my results back, I was I, I was very amazed. Okay. And I was still working the business as well, but then you know it's like it's different when you just you're just you know going and listening to what everybody else is saying. But then when you actually get your credit results and you see them firsthand for yourself, it's like oh wow. 
it really works, you know. So then um, once I started seeing my personal results, then that's when I really, really started uh, promoting it and showing my own personal results. So I always do updates every 30 days when I get my, uh, okay. my updates from the credit bureaus. Okay. So you mentioned that you, you went into it pretty much not caring about credit and not um, thinking, you know, with the, with the attitude of, you know, what is it, skeptical, uh, not really educated on that. So what, I guess, can you explain to the audience what exactly is important about credit? Why does credit even matter? You know, a lot of people feel like, man, if I got cash, then, you know, I can do whatever I want to. So why, why is credit important? Right. That's like when we were talking the other day, um, that's how I was. Like, I just literally like it wasn't that I didn't care about credit. It was just that if I got the cash, then, hey, I can I can still get what I want. But when I come to find out, when I start trying to, you know, build my credit and go and buy, uh, I've tried to buy a house and I couldn't because they were like, um, Ms. Kimbrough, your credit score is not right. So for me, I was like, what? And, and now the whole time I'm sitting there like, no, my credit score is like a 620 because I had been checking credit karma. I had been working on credit karma for about three years before I even joined this business. So when I was on credit karma, you know, I'm working on credit karma, doing the steps and everything. No, nope. I went to apply for a house like three times and they told me no. Oh, wow. I not. And it was the credit karma because i'm sitting here you know thinking that i'm doing what they told me and no and i actually i started off um i would take the the largest bill and i would pay half of it and then when i paid half of it i would mark it off and then i would move to the next one so i'm thinking that i'm doing what i'm supposed to do but not even knowing that i really didn't even have established credit because i always paid cash for everything that i had uh. Well, I can definitely attest to um to that because uh you know personally you know trying to purchase a home and having to go through the process dealing with the lenders and everything like that, everybody has you know every single one of them they're checking your credit score. They're not just checking one bureau; they're checking all three. They don't just check one person, but anybody that plans to be on that home, they check everybody and they're checking everything. And I don't know anybody that has. You know, honestly, I don't know anybody that just has a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, however much that much money to just basically, you know, put down all at one time and just completely buy a house right out. And they're not right. going to just give you, you know, the house unless you have that cash. Right. And I don't know anybody that's just got that to just throw out there. Right. So for me, I would say credit is important because I mean, now that you can't even get a job without having good credit at some places. Um Credit, it just makes you live more comfortable, but you have to start when you're like 18, when you start having and, and trying to establish credit. So mm -hmm. um, credit is, you know, it's king. A lot of people really don't think that, you know, they do. They It works, but it it's a must. Like credit now is going yeah. in a few years, it's going to be. You're going to have to have it like you're going to have to have a legit credit score to even be able to purchase nice things, you know. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned two things, though. You said like 18, you needed to know about credit. And you also mentioned, um, I guess, the the fact that, you, you know, with a job that it can affect you getting a job. So I guess can you start out with just answering the question? Um, let me see what I have here. I guess, why should you educate a child or children uh, or minors about credit? And then also, how do you go about doing it? Since I know that you're also a parent and I'm sure you're educating your kids on credit. Yes. Um, for me, since I have five children and because I wasn't taught growing up about credit, and that's another thing, the reason why I really wanted to get more into business and learn more about credit, because it wasn't taught in our home and you know it's not taught in the school systems so for me i wanted to make sure that my children were educated on credit and what it was and what it can do to your credit okay so how, how do you do how do you teach your children so, about um, credit? I, how i teach my children um they're all different ages so you know i have different 
outlets on how I teach them. So my younger two, um, we have, I actually, in my back office, I, in my um, protection plan, we have a uh, fun game. So I give them games and um, it teaches them how to, you know, manage their money and um, it teaches them how to utilize their uh, credit services once they get, you know, at eight, when they get up to 18. So it's a lot of different things that I can do to, uh, that you can do to teach your child about credit. Okay. And uh, I guess, do you help them establish it also? Yes. Um. Actually, well, when you're eight, when they are 18, you you know, you can put them on as a um, authorized user on your credit card. Okay. So um, it, the games, they're, um, they're like, on different age limit and they they show you um like my daughter when I put a video up one day she was sitting there doing her credit and it was like um money fly, falling but you have to put it in the right bag and it will um the bag at the bottom will tell you okay um does this belong in you know the um I forgot I have to, <laughs> to refresh my memory on that part. Mm. But um, they it's just like different fun games. There's credit games. They had um, financial education games where um, they can learn how to start establishing credit at an early mm. age. And it's all kind of different games. That's, that's pretty cool. I never actually thought about that, playing a game that dealt with credit. Like, it'd be, you know, if they came up with a Monopoly where it taught you, you know, credit, that would be cool. Because, I mean, even just a simple concept of if you're playing Monopoly and all you're doing is just going around, you know, collecting $200 every time and you never build any assets or have any assets, then you realize how quick you really don't have much and you can't really make any, you can't make your money make money. So if you never have any investments, never have any assets, then you, you kind of learn um, that way. And then also, you know, if they were able to, you know, have a credit game or you put credit into the Monopoly game or whatever the case is, or just any kind of game, it would um, help you to understand better. Mm -hmm. All right. So you mentioned something else that's pretty crazy. What, um, I guess you said that you, a, a job, it can affect you not getting a job or getting a job? Yes. Um, certain jobs like the more um, corporate jobs like the high range price, you know, jobs, mm -hmm. they, they won't hire you. Like um, some penitentiary jobs, state jobs, they won't hire you if you have um, a bad credit score. Well, do you, can you explain why that is, why that would be? Um, you know, to some companies, they go by that to see how well you are as an individual. I don't really have like a lot of answers for it right now. But um, I know mm -hmm. that I was talking to uh, someone and that's what they were telling me. And I asked them the same question and they were just telling me that um, their boss told them that that lets them know who they are hiring. So this might prove that this person may be responsible or not responsible or something like that. Yeah. To, uh, to the jobs, you know, most jobs, they feel like, you know, they're irresponsible if you, you know, your credit score is not to the part up to part so it's just like credit is yeah. everything starting to you know that makes sense yeah but i, I would have never i would have never guessed that so um yeah but i mean i guess that makes sense though you know if, if somebody's credit is not good maybe they have certain habits that wouldn't um make them suitable for a certain career or, you know, something like that. So I guess the, I didn't mean, it's something to think about that your higher ability can be affected by your credit score. Yeah. Yes. That's pretty, is. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, you're into credit restoration. Would you say that it's better to educate and to build credit from the beginning or um, to end up having to restore it later on? Or which one works faster? I say build from when you're when you first start establishing credit. So therefore you won't have to come back and restore it. If you keep it in good standards, then you'll always, you know, 
have a legit a credit score where you won't have to come back and restore it and you know repair it because now you maintained it through you know to to keep it up, your credit score up so if you keep it maintained and you keep it up from the time that you start establishing credit you'll never have to come back and restore it if you know how to manage it you know it's all mm -hmm. about money management you know take out your habits you know and make your payments on time a lot of people they don't make payments on time and that drops your credit score down a lot of points it drops it down bunches okay i mean do you, do you mind trying to uh i guess bust busting a few myths really quick i had the question actually asked to me earlier or or brought up to me and it was uh that you should maintain a balance on your credit score in order for your credit to go up is that true or is that false that you should pay it off every month and then that'll which one's better to carry a balance or pay it off every month you have to pay your balance on your you talking about on a credit card yes yes you have to make payments on your credit on your credit card every month but you have to make sure that you make them on time because if you don't make them on time then that drops your credit score down as well so all bills okay. need to be paid on time on the due date um if they're paid you know after the um seven day period or whatever having me day they tell you to pay it it's still gonna you know be late so i just say make sure that you pay it on time make sure that it's not late because anything is late is going to drop your credit score okay so would it be um better to pay off all pay it all off or like every month like pay it down to a zero balance or is it better to carry a balance a minimal just pay the uh the minimum balance like whatever like um say your um your bill comes in and it's like um two hundred dollars mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you pay the two hundred dollars okay or, um yeah cause at least the minimum but mm -hmm. yeah okay and the and i guess would paying it off in full every month affect your credit score in a better way or no you said paying it off in full yeah yes okay you, just, you need to uh make sure that you just pay them off in full okay uh, don't leave, do you have any don't leave a balance because you know like most people if they leave a balance you know they'll they're not able to keep keep paying it like they'll forget that they owe a balance and then they'll pay that balance the remaining balance and then they have to come back and pick up the other part mm -hmm. of it but they never come back and pick it up so that's why a lot of people they're um they get behind with payments because they don't pay it on time and then they only pay partial and then you have to come back and pay the next month you know yeah and then the interest piles up and then the next thing you know you're in, in a deeper hole than what you could get out of it what you bargained for yes a high interest rate you wanna you wanna kind of keep it where you know if you have a good credit score you'll always have um a good rate where you can purchase things and your interest rate won't be very high but if your okay. credit score is low then you're gonna have a high interest rate on anything that you try to buy. They may give it to you, but you're gonna be paying a lot for it to keep it. Okay. So let's see. Got another. If anybody, ha oh, if anybody that's watching, uh, there will be a game at the end for a prize. If you can answer the questions correctly, so I just want to let the audience know that. If you're able to answer the questions at the end of this interview correctly, you will be getting a prize. Isn't that right, Neat? That's right. I'm All right. Also, y'all gotta bear with me. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no problem. It's a little dark on your on your end. Is it? Yeah. Let's see. See if it's better. Yes, much better. 
Much, much better. It was nighttime in there. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. All right, somebody says nice. All right. So I guess to get into it, um, as can you spend a little bit of time just kind of explaining uh, what tips you have on raising your credit score? Yeah. Uh, what can people do? Um, pay your bills on time. You can um, reduce your credit credit uh, credit card statement balance, and you can also become an authorized user on a credit card. Um, pay your bills on time. Uh, dispute negative items, and you can also um, let's see. You can also um, you need a dispute letter as well to uh, dispute. What everything. is a dispute letter? Dispute letter is um, a form of identification where um, attorney comes in and wipes all all of the uh, collections off of your credit. Oh wow! So student loans can be wiped off. Repos. Student can loans be can be wiped off. Yes. I um actually if they want to see proof um I, actually I think we put it in the group of my personal results I always post post my personal results to let you guys know that it does this program does work and you guys should try it out um highly recommend it so you can get that even child support can be wiped off um wow. yeah it does a lot this program it really really does a lot a lot of people that definitely probably need that information. So, all right. So you're saying there's a couple couple things that you mentioned. You said paying your bills on time. How does that affect your credit? Because if you don't pay your bills on time, if they're always late and you're always, you know, not paying them on time, it would affect your credit. Because, you know, like some a lot of people, you know, like when you move and you mm -hmm. don't, you just like, oh, forget that bill. I ain't going to worry about it. If you do that and you constantly keep not paying bills on time, you will be in more debt than what you expect. So okay. it's good to just make sure that you pay all bills. Anything um, that you started and you didn't finish, it's always good to at least come back and try to, you know, pay it. Okay. And then you also mentioned um, the dispute letters and paying off your credit card so what would you need a dispute letter for dispute letters to yeah wipe off the uh, collection off of uh, your credit report they get okay they, so, if you, mm -hmm. so if you get sent to collections then you can write a letter to dispute the fact that you didn't pay yes okay because um like for me, I know I didn't know how to write the dispute letters up, and some of um, some of the collections and stuff that I did pay, like um, I paid them, but I couldn't get them off because I needed those dispute letters. So I'm thinking when I first started out, you know, okay, I made this payment and it's still on my credit. I didn't know how to get it off. And then when I came in contact with any, um, when I came in contact with er another uh, lady that was involved in credit, she told me, she said, you're going to have to need, you're going to have to get the dispute letters. And okay. that's, what it came down to, because like I said, I had a whole lot of things that were paid off, but they were still showing up on my credit. And I never knew that I needed it to get dispute letters. Okay. So with you being on the subject, um, someone's asking, how do you get a dispute letter? You can actually, if you know how to write the dispute letters up, you can type them up and send them off yourself. Or you can get with the agency or an attorney and they can get those done for you. So is it pretty expensive to get a dispute letter if you can't do it yourself? Um, I didn't, I can't answer that because I never even tried to go through my own personal 
attorney. I um, went with this company. So with this company, um, we also have a attorney and it comes free of charge if you are in, if you become a client. So you okay. won't so, so you can actually handle it then. Yeah. So you won't have to um, find, you know, and pay extra money to get your dispute letters typed up because attorneys, if you go to a credit attorney, they're going to charge mm -hmm. you big time. Yeah. So okay, well, I mean, I didn't know that you you offer it. So I guess how did it get a dispute letter yeah. just come to you? Exactly. If you come okay. to me and become a client or agent, you can get your services, your um, attorney's uh, services for free because you are mm -hmm. a part, you're part of the program. So, yes. Okay. And then you also mentioned that student loans can be wiped. Does it, does it, are there any stipulations to that or can anybody do it or, you know, how does someone go about that? Cause I know that's definitely hot. Dispute letters. Dispute letter. So what are the stipulations? Like why isn't everybody writing a dispute letter saying that they don't want to pay student loans? I mean, cause it's a certain way that you have to type those letters up. Like for me, like I said, I didn't know how you mm -hmm. have to have the dispute letter. So, I mean, I didn't know how to do it. So I I found someone to um I got with this this uh credit company and they done it for me. So will they wipe the entire student loan debt or is it a percentage or how does uh, that work? That's why I posted my personal results to show that it was deleted off. Uh, if they can go back and look on my um I mean on in the group or if they are a friend of mine on my Facebook page, they can ask, actually Go to my Facebook page and they can see that the student loans are gone. They're deleted. Wow. Yeah. I actually um I check my uh credit score and um I checked my uh credit score what yesterday and they did not show up. It's not even on my report. So so you don't owe any student loans at all? I don't owe anything at all. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's oh, that's probably the most amazing thing anybody could say. I mean, can you dispute your car too? <laughs> 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 just start disputing everything. <laughs> you right. go go on a shopping spree and just dispute the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So basically, if you want your student loans wiped, you want um to knock down some of the the debt that you owe. let me ask this then so after the dispute letter is done and your debt is resolved do they force you or like say it's on a credit card do they force you to close that card close the the card down yeah no so the debt is just white but you are able to still use that card Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you will have to probably disable the card. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. So now that we know the, the positive things that we can do, I guess, can you expound a little bit on what can damage your credit? Um, Not paying your bills on time. Mm -hmm. Um, When you um, apply for loans and not paying those off. Um bankruptcy will damage your credit um, really? yes i thought bankruptcy was to help credit no where'd you get that from i don't know I, i'm not i don't plan on filing bankruptcy but i just figured all right well you don't owe you don't owe anything anymore so maybe it'll help <laughs> um i don't know i had one client that um was going through that and at the time, I was just starting out, and she asked me about that, and I was like, you know, trying to figure that out myself, and come to find out, um, that's what she said. She said that she was bankruptcy, and she could not get it off for anything, and she asked me what I need, what she needed to do, and um, like I said, at that time, I was just starting out, so I had to go to my mentor and ask her, you know, what to do about it, and um she said that she recommend like you can get your credit fixed if you're in bankruptcy, but it's really not recommended because it's gonna take a longer time frame than someone that's not in bankruptcy. 
Okay. okay. So, so uh, we got a question here from the audience. Says, is consolidating your debt in one payment better? Also, can you still use your card if you are consolidating? Um, that question, I will have to um, get um, some information on it. Um, if she can message me her name, I will gladly get that question answered for her. That's the okay. first time I've ever um, heard of that one. So I want to ask okay. that. Okay. And I guess well, that kind of leads me to it. With student loans, they tell you, you know, the, the consolidating all your loan payments into one can be beneficial. Is that true or should you leave them separate into smaller balances? Um, when I was started out, I didn't, I didn't pay the full balance all at one time because I didn't have it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I would just pay portion of it, you know, half of what I could pay. And then I would come back the next month and pay the other half. And then mm -hmm. even doing that, it was still on my credit. So for me, I think that either, even if I wouldn't have done it and paid it off, I think that you still just need dispute letters. Okay. So would you be able to dispute every single one or would you consolidate them and then dispute them? I think I would consolidate and then dispute them. Okay. So maybe it's the same for um, for the credit. So you also mentioned, what else did you say can damage your credit if you, we, we established that you, if you don't pay your bills, um, if you pay them late, that also affects your credit in, in a negative way. What else did you say would hurt your credit? Um, something else that can hurt your credit will be... Um, oh, when you said bankruptcy. Uh, yes, bankruptcy. And then um, just leaving your, uh, your accounts like negative... If you keep like some people go in and you know they'll get like tons of withdrawals like every month like you know how um they have that overdraft protection plan yes some people if they know it's there they'll just overdraft but they'll just keep going to get that money every month but it's not you know it's hurting your credit as well when you do that so some people just get that overdraft protection plan and just know that it's there Mm -hmm. And so every month they're in the red, like their account is negative. So even though that you go and get that 500 or whatever they the bank offers you, you go get that every mm -hmm. month after you've gotten paid and you keep doing that month after month, it drops your credit score. So I wouldn't do that. Um, also, when you're getting your credit score, when you're getting your credit fixed, I would not apply for any loans for six months. After, so after. I tell my, yes, I tell all my clients when they come and get their credit fixed, do not apply for any credits for six months. When you do that, is they that? hit your credit real hard and it drops your credit score because they're constantly checking your credit score while you're getting it, you know, fixed. And then you're applying for loans on top of it. So all of so those inquiries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got a question here. It says, how about maxing out the limit? How about, how about maxing out the limit? No, never max out that limit. Because what are you going to do when you max it out and can't pay it? Does, I guess, the so it may be also because, you know, they say once you go past your half of your credit limit, that that can negatively affect it. So I guess... If you max it out, it's probably even worse. That's correct. Okay. You can be on my team. Huh? You can come join me and be an agent. You know a lot. <laughs> Say it again. I say you can come and join me anytime and be an agent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I know enough. I I mean, I'm I'm always down to learn though. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you, can you think of anything else that would damage your credit score? What about um, you know how you were saying that you put your children or you put other people on your credit to um, help them establish credit? 
can that aff- can that hurt your credit score or does that help your credit score? Mm-hmm. Or can it go either way? It builds. It builds your credit score and theirs as well. Okay. So could they negatively affect your credit score? No. Only if you you don't pay make payments on the card. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess with that because they're underage and they're just trying to build their credit score. So they they can't harm it unless someone doesn't make the payment on the credit card, right? Okay. So then that's kind of a risk, but um Yeah. You want to make sure that they have good credit with you first before you put them on your credit card. <laughs> yeah. Well, my um my son, he's 17, so I put him on mine. So, of course, it's going to get paid because I'm not going to let it slip. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. Unless he goes out there and just goes and buy a new, you know, car and then he shows up. Uh-uh. Hey. I, I got it to every time he, he swiped that car, it, it comes to my phone. I know where he had to, how much he spent and what you do. <laughs> And he can't come home if that's that's the case. <laughs> I just give him a limit, and um, he's just being like I just give him a hundred dollars and tell him, hey, you can do the hundred dollars. You know, don't go over that. So he's been doing pretty good with it though. Okay. So all right, well, with that, then I guess, um, you know, you've you've talked a lot about you know the dispute letters, um. And how people can how you how you're able to help people uh, build their credit score. So I guess what services do you provide? Um, we have a UCESPP app. It's a protection plan, and it has um, a lot of things that you can do to keep your credit score util- and utilize um, all the services. For as um, we have a budgeting, we have a um, a um, what else do we have in here? It's so many, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, we have a health where you can uh, the health uh, benefits. You can use that. You can. Um, it's a budget out where, like, if you're um, you're out and you're traveling, you can do that and use um, the sc- where your credit score can you know add points to that. We also have a um, smart credit app. We have, um, we also have where um, if your child is 18 and get ready to graduate, we have a uh, program where we can help them, you know, for toward, uh, put towards scholarships. It's a lot of uh, services that is real good in this, in this um, business. Okay, so they can basically come to you for anything that's dealing with credit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got another question from the audience is if you have more than one credit card open but are not using them, will that mess up your credit? Um, no, it won't mess it up, but I uh would recommend you to start at least um just getting little small things like just really use it for gas or you know, for something small to let them know that the card is active. You don't want to just keep and not just use it. So I would um, at least use it for gas, and then when the bill comes, just make sure that you make that payment on time. Okay. But I guess you wouldn't want to close it out just because you're not using it because it may damage the history? hmm Okay. And I guess credit history matters, or you can d- damage your credit score by canceling credit cards? Like if you use it and then you cancel it out? Yeah. Okay. So I guess, um, you know, with credit and everything like that and you building yours and, and having such good, uh, oh, it says, can I just close them out? So it would be better to keep it. No, don't close Correct. them out. Don't close them? No. Okay. Unless they're already you know, to the point to where they're behind. Like how far behind? Um, like payments behind. And 
that where she can't afford to pay him or he can't afford to pay him. I wouldn't close them. Okay. Out. So if you're maxed out, then you might want to consider closing it. Okay. So, um, I guess what keeps you motivated and going in, uh, in this industry? Um, because I love to help people. So when I see that I'm helping someone else, it just gives me the boost and the drive. Not only that, um, the, the services actually work. And so that, that makes me go harder too every day because I know that, um, coming into it and not really knowing and understanding what credit was, what it can do. It was just, you know, an eye opener for me on how important credit was. Um, so when I see other people getting in power and I see their results and I see mine, then that empowers me to keep, you know, putting credit tips out there, making uh, myself known and, you know, just getting familiar with, with the business more and more and learning more, you know, every day and educating myself as well. So I guess who, who are the type of people that you love to help? I know you were mentioning like um, you're, you have a passion for single moms. Yes. So I guess can, I, can you expound on um, what you like to do for single moms and why and, you know, I guess your, your why? Yes, um, I would love to help single mo mothers because I know that I'm a single mother myself. Um, I know that it's times where, you know, you, you would like to get up and you would like to go do things and you can't because, you know, the credit score may be holding you back or the funds or whatever. So for me, I would like to just encourage every single mother to keep going. And you have a purpose just like I had a purpose. So, I mean... That's why I love single mothers. Okay. So this looks like the um, probably the, the last comment. It says, I'm not using them anymore, so I just want to close them and don't want them just out there. So if the balance is paid and they and um, the card gets closed, would that not damage the score? Um, I don't know. Ah. Tell yeah, her. Is that a, ask them to um, please message me and I'm going to make sure that I can get that question answered. Okay. And then we have a response that looks like it says, don't close them. It will drop your credit only if you can't pay them, then you close it. That's what I, yeah, that's what I was re I said before. All right. So it looks like we got people listening, paying attention, yeah, paying attention. stoking up the information. I was All crazy. right. Well, that's good. So I've been shaking. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. No reason. It's just me and you. And then some people that are out there watching. We don't know who they are. <laughs> but you're giving a lot of information right now. You know, there could be a single mom watching, you know, at this moment. And you just changed her life. So just uh, keep that in mind. Yes. Um, I do on certain days. I do. Um run promotions just for single uh, mothers. So on days where you see the single mothers, make sure that you get on it because it it is going to change your life if you ever jump on that promotion. Okay. And so I with the promotion now, you're saying that uh, you have a referral program? Yes, I have a referral program. So um, my referral program, how, how it works is if you bring me five people, then you can get your services done for free. Oh, wow. Yes. I may so. have brought five people already then. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> so what I is a good, what is, what is a good credit card to have interest wise? Huh? It's a good question. Deep. Um, the secure credit card, um, is good. Um, actually we, we have a secure credit card that we have on our with our business. It comes with our services. Um, you actually, if you start with us, you actually will get approved for it because it's a credit score to actually boost your um, your credit score up. So therefore, it'll that works. Um, it's a good. One.
Okay. Okay. So you have so you also offer credit cards? Yes. A secure credit oh, wow. card um is what comes along with um our program. Um so, so like you guys are, are, yes. I'll say so you guys truly are um you know come to y'all for everything that's dealing with credit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that leads me to my other question. You said you have a referral program? Yeah. And if five people, okay, so five people you can get one. And because lastly, how do people get in contact with you? I know there's a, yeah. uh, a few different ways. Okay. So um, I wanted to add on my um, referral program, if you bring me five people, those five people actually have to sign up in order for you to be able to get your services done for free and utilize all the services that are offered. So if you bring me five, make sure that they actually sign up and join and then I will enroll you and you can get your services done for free. Mm -hmm. And then how do they get in contact with you? Um, you can actually um, call me. I have my number pinned on my business page and um, you can also contact me through Messenger on Facebook. I have not set up a business page on IG yet. I'm getting familiar with IG because I just never be on there too much. But um, you can actually message me on Facebook, and um, my name on Facebook is Nick Kimbrough. So you can follow me there, and you can also follow my credit with Neat business page. Um, I have I always have credit tips off in there for um, just free game for you guys. Yeah. You can read it and learn from it. Um, if you have any questions, you can always call me through Messenger. I will answer, and um, if you get off late hours, that's fine. I'm up. You can still contact me, and you can still message me. Um, I even set it up where on my business page, on my credit tips, with Neat, you can also call me through there as well, and you can message me now. Okay. And you also post a lot of good tips uh, right here in uh, the Facebook group as well. So I guess then we've got a question here from the audience. It says, which bank is your credit card with and what is the interest rate? I have, um, right now I have um, like three of them. Let me, <laughs> let's see. I have, um, the first one I have is, um, um just a second. I have um I have three guys, so sorry. Um the first one I use I, I have Capital One. Okay. And then um what what else did they ask? What is the interest rate? Yeah, so um, my interest rate was like rocky because, you know, I had just started. So it's always based on your credit score. They base it off your credit score. So your interest rate for a credit card is based off your credit score? Yes, um, the bank card that I... Oh, I was going to say, that, that's, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know that the credit card company is going to give you a different interest rate based off of your credit score. That you're probably trying to build. <laughs> yeah, the um secure credit card, it does that. Um for the, the company that I'm with, that's the one that I had applied for. And that's how they done me. Like when I apply for it, um they just based it off my credit score. So whatever my credit score was, that's the interest rate that I was able to get approved. So is it a variable rate to where uh if your credit score increases, then the interest rate decreases, or is it going to be fixed? Say it again. Is it a variable rate where if your credit score increases, your um, interest rate will decrease, or is it fixed? It will. Um, it will increase. Uh, what will increase? 
You said, I'm sorry, it's fading in and out. So if your credit score increases, I guess it's at a variable rate where if your credit score increases, the interest rate decreases or is it a fixed rate card? Oh, no, um, it'll decrease and it's going to be at the uh, fixed rate. Okay. All right, so I guess it's game time before we wrap up. Uh, so everybody that's out there in the audience, we've got some questions for you and you can win a prize here tonight and then we will call it a night. I'd like to thank you, uh, Neek. Thank you for having me. And my first question is, can you get turned down for a secure credit card? All right, audience, can you be turned down for a secure credit card? I believe that is a yes or no question. Go ahead and enter your answers now. This is free prize. You could just guess. You got a 50% chance of getting it right. Oh, we got somebody. We've got Pamela here. She says, yes, you can be turned down. Is that the correct answer? Does anybody else want to try? I was trying to let someone else. Pretty much got one other guess here. <laughs> got somebody with no. <laughs> so who's the who got it right? That, that's all. There's only three answers. Yes, two. We got two answers and responses right now before they hit the uh hit the end. Yes or no? No. So no is the answer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so uh we have a we have a winner for that one. I guess do you want to announce a prize now or afterwards? Whoever um can you see the name so I can write it down? Yes, so the correct answer goes to Nicole. Nicole. Of no. Nicole, what's the last name? Pearson. Pearson. Okay. Um, and you'll be able to see this in the comments after uh, after the interview as well. Okay. Nicole, so just contact me and um, send me a message letting me know that who you are and i'll take care of you but i need your name and address and all of that good stuff okay and do you have you have some more a couple other questions right i have um i have um one more okay can i rent a car with a i feel like i can hear the audience complaining right now like oh man i can't believe i didn't get it right <laughs> Can I rent a car with a secure credit card? Huh. Can you rent a car with a secure credit card? I also believe that there's like a slight delay when we, when we have our conversation to the audience. So we'll give them a little bit of time to respond. Yeah. Can you can you rent a credit? I mean, rent a car with a secure credit card. We've got a response here that says, yes, you can. We've got two responses that say yes. Nobody else participating? Let's see. Looks like we got a third one. So it says yes. I'll say yes. <laughs> yep, everybody says yes. They're right. <laughs> They're right. So you can't. So you can rent a car you can. with um a secure credit card. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Ask them. Do they want one more? I'll do one more. All right. One more. One more. One more giveaway. All right. What's the last question? Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to find a 
Let's see. <laughs> they like, yes, one more. <laughs> Got the giveaways. I'm gonna hard one for y'all this time. Let's see. Um. Um, Hard one. The last question is Can you or can you not get a good credit score from making payments on a home that you have purchased, that you have bought? Okay. Uh, you said, Can you or can you not get a good credit score from making payments on the home? Well, yes. So, if you bought a home, where your did you, when you make your payments, can you did will your, credit, your score, credit score? Yeah, can will your credit score raise or no? Okay. Everybody got that. I don't feel like that's hard, but it might be a trick question. I would hope it's not hard. Well, remember we talked to you. I, we talked to you about that, and you was like, "Oh, I didn't know that you could do that." Ah, uh, maybe. Um, I know you can get kicked out your home <laughs> if you don't pay for it. All right. Let's see, we got. Yes, it will. Raise your score, and then uh, yes, an astounding yes. So we got two yeses. Another yes. All right. So I guess we'll take that from there. So um, I'll take the first two on those. On that. On so the yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. Okay. Um, can you? You have, to have a program where if you uh, have purchased a home and you made you know consecutive payments and never late. They you can report your payments to the credit bureaus and it reports to all three credit bureaus. Oh wow. Okay, because I mean it, it makes sense though. I mean, and they're checking your credit and they're checking all three. Um, you know, when you buy a house, so I don't know. It, it makes complete sense that you would be able to raise your core your score through that method also. Yes. Okay. That sounds good. Well. I guess we are, if, if there are no more questions, um, I guess we'd like to wrap up here and, you know, let you enjoy the rest of your night or your, your evening. And um, I'd like to thank you for, you know, sharing all this knowledge. And I'll definitely make sure that I have the uh, winners contact you. Also, just want to say, oh, hold on, we got a question. It says, what is the prize? <laughs> Oh, it's going to be something from my FES website store. <coughs> okay. So an exclusive prize from the, the website says, am I getting a prize too? If you got the answer right and you are in the, I don't, um, in the comments. We have yes. to look through and yeah. So I'm in suspense. <laughs> I, I was totally nervous, guys. And I promise you, if you contact me, the conversation will be very different. First time being live like this. Well, you did a you did a great job. Yes, I was nervous. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I guess with that, I need to let everybody know to make sure that you subscribe to Hollywood Interviews on YouTube. This uh, interview will be live in the group for everyone to see. Uh, you know, into the future. So if you have any more questions on credit or anything like that, feel free to rewatch it here in the group. I will be dropping the YouTube video as well, where you can rewatch this and share it to your friends and family uh, or anybody that you think can benefit from credit, which would pretty much be everybody. And uh, once again, just like to thank you, Nick. Thank you. For all of the knowledge that you have dropped. Make sure that you tell your friends to join the group because she's always posting her credit tips. And if there are no more questions, we will call it a night. All right. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. Thank Nick. you very much. No <laughs> problem. Thank you.
please continue to post that information because I found it extremely valuable and I hadn't seen anything like it. Not, you know, typically I'm not sharing other people's stuff like that because I allow them to do it. But after I saw it, I was like, man, this is some good information. So thank you for sharing that knowledge and please continue to do so. Okay. And anyone can feel free to um, reach out to me if you want to become a credit agent. I am recruiting today and whenever so feel free if you want to make an additional income you're more than welcome to come hop on the train and i would train you and um, we have a, a team as well so you won't be by yourself if you want to make some extra money okay so everybody hear that you um you're also able to join the company yeah so you join as an agent your credit services will be for free so just come on and talk to me one-on-one -on -one and see what i have to offer you um like i say i'm better on the phone <laughs> i'm nervous because i know everybody's watching but please uh feel free to contact me um i'm here to help you and i thank you guys for having me thank you have a good evening mm -hmm. thank you bye Oh, oh, one, one, uh, God. <laughs>